that. The handle, found some lovely hardwood. Mark that the scales. I'm going to cut that bit first and then these. Whilst I'm holding on to the long end, if I cut the end off, I'm then holding a tiny little piece to try and cut the length ways in the pencil. So I'm cutting that bit first, whilst it's huge, and then that bit off on the pencil. because it's so small. See that? So, just that flat section, right up against that. That's where it sits. Just there. Tighter. Now the beauty of the bandsaw is this. There's my rod. I know it's going to be as thick as that, plus that, plus some more, so I want to cut that much off. Cut a piece that long. Straight to the bandsaw. Got the light from the drill. So I push it with so it's not near my fingers. back up there, straight to the one by 30 it's only in the last month that my garage has been set up so I can do this.
No kidding. You try and do that without goggles. It's flicking off the crown of the pinion wheel at area. Nah, mate. You need your own protection. So, the reason I need the pins now is because I drilled one hole. Boom. I lift that, put that down the hole, that holds it in the right place whilst I try and position it as it was lined up to where the sort of a ricasso area is and line up the second hole. Then I should just about have enough room for the clamp. All of that's worked out beforehand. With this one, I've got one G clamp that can just fit between the two pins. Plus, I can put it in the vice when I clamp it up. But don't put your pins too close together if your clamps aren't going to fit between the pins when you're going to clamp it afterwards. Give yourself nice spacing between one lanyard pin hole or uh, mounting pins or your rivets or loveless bolts, whatever it is you're going to use. Hopefully it won't slip. As it moves, that's alright. Right. lines up. Now the idea now is you go through one side, flip it over. You need the drill. It's not the best discipline in the world to have the drill in the material when you turn it on but you need to here because there's nothing much else to line it up. If you had a, a knife with three pins you'd still be able to keep two in. But on this design, it's a two pin model, that's where it's got to go. So I've got to be able to try and get El Clampo there. That lines up. Okay, so can we just fit? Can just fit. So what we've got to do is you change that. Move it down. Because... Gonna go there. I want the fronts to line up on this section of the knife. So they're going to go there. And clamp the hell out of it. Checking this flush. Touch more. Clamped. that one in the right place. Doesn't really matter too much about that as long as these are flush. Doesn't matter too much about that as it's those that need to be flush. Back there. Sod. Wedgie wood. Things are sent to Troyes. No arm done. Try 
clamp it again. Even more. Cool. So that there's my scales. And I need the front, which is this section. This has to be profiled before it gets stuck on. Because when the two sides are on the knife, there's a knife, two pieces of wood on, to actually be able to clean up that front out bit of section there, it's very difficult when the sides are on. So you do that now. On my setup, I prefer a slower speed with the bigger grinder, but I don't know how much room I got here. I mean. giving it a rough profile if you have a look the grain I've got it so it's one way one the other some things you, you learn in time we'll check your grain when you put it together I did it so naturally I didn't cut it and instantly knew which way to want to put it so on the knife Now is just simply pox it on, put it in a vice. I'm not going to worry about trying to profile that because the sander will eat that completely off. No worries. So, quick sort of how to get your scale sorted. Chunky, isn't it? Let's see you on the next one.